Yo, 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 man, what's up, man? It's Anthony, man, back with another video, man. You know, if this your first time checking in, man, most definitely tap into the Ambitious Visions tribe, man. You know, you come here, man, you most definitely gonna learn some shit, man. But hey, anyway, let's talk about it, man. I'm sitting there in the car, man, you know, a little hot, you know, finna move around. But let's talk about it, man. I just thought, I just thought to have this conversation about, uh, about entrepreneurs um i got i got someone younger than me that's going going through some stuff personally and uh questioning if they want to be in this life or not you know and it's a lot of questions that you need to ask yourself you know what i'm saying ask yourself is, is, is you ready for this because it ain't easy as much as it had been popularized and uh you know it's popular right now it's a wave, it's a trend, whatever you want to call it, you know what I'm saying? But what a lot of people don't want to tell you is how structured and disciplined you have to be and how determined you have to be, how ambitious you have to be to make sure that your goals get accomplished. You know what I'm saying? Like 99% of small businesses, first businesses, however you want to call it, fails. You know what I'm saying? So considering that, you know, you got to you got to come at it with the mind of for one being prepared to fail, not being afraid to fail. You know, if you if you're scared of failure, if you're scared of rejection, if that shit bothers you, you know, this might not be for you. You know. No, it's not for you. You know, cuz you got to understand that, you know, you putting all accountability, responsibility in your hands, you know, when you, when you're accustomed to not having to worry about certain things because obviously your manager, your boss, your supervisor is going to take care of certain things, right? But when you're a business owner, you are until you hire, you are responsible for everything, the inside and out of your company. You know, and I think people just get so quick on, oh, I want a clothing line. Oh, I want to sell hair. You know what I'm saying? To the point where they don't ever think about the actual business model and the business plan. You know, they don't actually have structure or marketing. You know what I'm saying? Advertisement. How are you going to get, you know, all they know is they want to do this, they want to do that. Which makes sense. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad, you know, I'm happy for the people that has got started. You know what I'm saying? But, you know... It's a forever learning process, you know. As an entrepreneur, you would never know enough, you know. You wouldn't even want to feel like you know everything, you know what I'm saying? It's a learning process. You got to be willing to, to be a sponge in this world. And you got to be street smart and business smart, you know. You need both of them. There ain't no in-between. You need to know how to move in the streets. You need to know how to move in the corporate world, you know. And... You know, it's just something to think about, you know, the, the the stress that comes with it, the anxiety, the the the, the losing, the nonstop losing, you know, like it's a lot going on, you know, and everything isn't easy, you know. So that's a part of me. That's what that's what this 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 uh damn I'm losing my words. This is part of what this channel was going to going to bring to y'all. Um advice tips in the ups and the downs of growing this media company you know uh this would be my second go round obviously my first business failed you know but i'm not ready to give up you know i ain't ready to give up the people that i look i look up to that i'm influenced by that I would have mentored me, they wouldn't have, they wouldn't have quit once they failed the first time. And that's why I refused to quit. I might have went about things the wrong way in the beginning, which I'd have learned I'd have learned from that and trying to adjust around it. But just giving up is just not an option for me, you know? And I don't blame anybody that don't wanna don't wanna take that risk. Or just had a mindset of work, work, work. Because that's how we was brought up. That's how we was raised. Everyone, pretty, not everyone, most people 
besides the wealthy, besides the other side, was raised to graduate, college, trade, well-paying job, full-time job. No one teach you about 